Hello, who am I on? Aries. <laughs> I'm sorry. I, I almost forgot who was I was about to do. So I hope you guys are doing well. Let's go ahead and see what messages are coming through for you guys at this time. Spirit of love and light, truth and clarity. What messages do you have for a sign of Aries? Please and thank you. Messages for the sign of Aries. Please and thank you. What messages do you have for a sign of Aries? Okay, climbing towards success. All right. The challenge here is time to go out and have fun. So y'all have been so busy working your ass off that you've been forgetting to have fun. What you need to remember is that like attracts like. Typically, we hear that when it comes to relationships, but it also comes, it also relates to finances as well. So if you're not in this energy of truly enjoying where you are, if you're just like fully focused on work, 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 but then it creates like this toxic energy because you're wanting something so bad, but you're not really enjoying the moment, enjoying where you are. Once you get to that place where you're working, but you also are having a good time, you're also making time to enjoy your life, or at least bring the fun back into whatever you're doing. Because some of you guys, like you've been doing too much, you've been overdoing it, and it's taking the fun out of what, you, what you're doing. They're wanting you to put the fun back in it, and that's going to help you reach some level of success here, and it's also going to naturally increase your finances because of the vibration that you're in. I know people get tired, especially Aries. Y'all are cardinal signs, so y'all all about that action. That It's like, ain't no manif manifestation. It's all about that action. But it is about that manifestation. You have to take action on it. But you also have to be wise. Like, when you keep hitting that brick wall and you feel like things aren't progressing at a certain point, you know, spirit is trying to get your attention to get you to loosen up to get back to having fun really there's no better way for me to put it i was like please don't let them cars fall on the floor because i really i mean that's like if y'all are at you know a nine to five like Try to figure out some if you're if you're at not five and you just aren't happy with the people that you're working with, period, because they're just toxic as hell and you feel like there's no way to turn to turn things around, well then it's time to move on. If you have your own business and you guys have just been overdoing it because you want to keep like the finances rolling in, but then it feels like uh, you know, things aren't really moving like you would like it to, it's because you lost the fun. The fun aspect, successful outcome to your problem. You guys know the key, and I'm, or they're saying that this is the key for you to for the success to your problem or a successful outcome to your problem. Hard work ahead in the past. So, with table here as your past situation. I'm not quite sure how, like, it's, it relates to everyone specifically, like, because everyone is going to have a different story. But whatever you decided to work towards here in the past, you knew it was going to increase your workload. You knew it was going to have, like, you were going to have to do more work. Like, put a lot of hard work towards something here, whether it was a new job or you guys started some new adventure, something here you knew it was gone. But in the process, you stopped having fun. It became all work and no play. 
and that's why you're at this stalemate. Oh, what the hell? You know, I uh, with this photo, I I literally thought it was a woman. Some of you guys could be trans, but um, Dylan's a relationship with a younger man that's helping you with some new job career. New job slash career. Can you give more information about that? Because that's very vague. Can you give more information about that? Teapot, deep friendship with someone of the same sex. What, I, honey? I'm really getting, but this is business. Some of you guys, I'm literally getting like a message coming through. I'm not quite sure. I'm not like understanding it yet. I'm definitely getting some of you guys like a uh, trans, uh, I don't want to say trans male. And like, excuse me, because. I definitely am not trying to like offend anyone and I'm being dead serious about that because I have, I was raised around drag queens and I love me some drag queens. But I'm really getting, cause when I first saw this picture, I thought it was a woman and then it's a younger man. So I'm getting like a trans person here. Or they could just be, they could just be interested in the same sex. But why am I getting something regarding fashion? Either hair or clothes, some sort of fashion here. Someone could come to you with a new uh, business idea. I'm getting like literally someone comes to you like, you know, why don't you start doing this? You would do really good if you start marketing um, or if you start advertising your business on shirts or but like they put this crazy spin on it. That helps things take off. It like brings I'm getting this is what someone needs here is like in you've been doing the same old same old and they're wanting you to spice things up to switch things up because they're but they're letting you know this is like the person that you can and they're clarifying it that this is someone who is into the same sex but this is someone that you will partner up with i'm not getting a love relationship but this person is going to give you some good advice on how to like spend. So some of y'all need to look out for someone like this that's coming towards you in the future, especially if you've been like, I'm getting someone who is an entrepreneur specifically, especially because it's like this person is coming towards you and giving you like an idea. So, take that as it resonates. Let's see. Oh. So, someone new is entering your life. Spiritual development, enlightenment, awareness, and understanding. A sincere wish will be granted. Oh, my gosh. Aries, are y'all freaking serious? This is in your what you're letting go position. They are literally saying that the energy that you're putting out there is like, you don't expect, like you guys are giving up on love. This is for someone who's been like in this pessimistic mood about love. Like, 
I, I don't even expect anyone to come towards me at this point. And if they do, I they'll probably just disappoint me like everyone else. So I, I'm not even focused on love. I'm just done with it. They're telling someone here to let go of that way of thinking. And the thing is, is that I know even as you, you're receiving this message, you're like, well, it's true. Everyone who's came into my life, they disappointed me. They let me down. They da 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 And, but it's like, do you want to stay in the past or do you want to move towards the future? Because it's up to you what you attract. It's up to you what you manifest. And some of y'all are like, well, how, why, really focus on like, why, what are you putting out in the universe as you keep attracting the same type of energy? If you want something new, then do something new. And it all starts with inner healing. What are you overlooking that you need to heal within? In order to attract the person that you want. Some of you guys aren't even the person that you want to be. You're not there yet. Some of y'all are used to just being hard on yourself because that's the way you were raised. You had a lot of people that depended on you, so you felt like it, it was a lot of weight on your shoulder. So you, some of y'all just naturally took on that um, persona of being hard on yourself. I got to take care of this. I got to take care of that. I got to... And you never put yourself first. Like you, some of y'all are the oldest of your siblings. Or some of y'all just were that child that your parent could depend on. And so they put all the pressure on you. So they're wanting you to let go of this mindset because you have great happiness coming in towards you. So they're saying stop being pessimistic. They want you to be optimistic about what's coming towards you. So that you can attract this sooner. So do what you need to. Some of y'all... If some of y'all are trying, like, I, I switched up my routine. I, I used to get up early, but I haven't been getting up early. So I'm like, okay, well, I'm going to make sure I work out regardless. So if I don't work out in the morning, I'm working out when I get home from work. And then instead of coming home from work and eating all this food, I got me a shake. Or I'm not, a, I don't do, like, the protein shakes and stuff. I do, um just like natural type of stuff but it's something that you're needing to change up if you're not happy about something and because some of y'all know exactly like like with dieting like you don't have to like deprive yourself of you know all the things that you enjoy but listen to your body what is your body telling you that it's reacting well towards or what is it not reacting well towards? So some of you guys, it's just a matter of cut, cutting out certain things. And you'll see a significant difference. Because some of y'all feel unlovable. And that's why you're attracting people that you know it's not going to work out with. I'm I'm getting this song, but like I do listen. I was trying to make sure it was for you guys because I do moon. People are seeing you as changes happening in your life. But the thing with moon, it's like y'all don't see it, but other people see it. They see how your life is changing. They see how your life is improving, how you're moving towards happiness and greater things. Other people see it, but you don't. It's unclear to you. The song I was hearing for you guys is Imagine Dragon Shots. You guys are seeing other people in need of help, assistance, and guidance. So you guys have people, I 
that's the energy that I was getting. Some of y'all were like that child, like you were the oldest child or you were the child that your parent placed all the responsibility on. So you guys are used to having people. I'm getting some of y'all have a lot of family members that ask you for money constantly, friends. It's, and it puts you in this energy of wanting to close yourself off because it's like, do they really want to be around me or do they really even care to talk to me or are they just trying to soup me up in order to get money out of me? And you know what, like, because I have a couple of Aries friends, but one of my best friend is Aries and she constantly deals with people trying to take advantage of her financially. And it's because you guys have big hearts, but then you get into this energy of like just shutting yourself off from everybody because you want to protect yourself. But then that's not you. It's like you can, you know, protect yourself from the right people, but don't close yourself off to everybody because not everybody is like that. keep hearing that song i freaking love that song it's, i love imagine dragons but that's one of my favorite songs by them cup you should accept valid criticism this is your advice needing to accept valid criticism not being uh, uh, like you know it all if the shoe fits wear it and that way you can walk in the right direction and for a long time too. Cause when you ain't when you don't wear the right shoe, you can't walk no long distance. Some feet gonna start burning. Yeah, because some of y'all have not been in a good place. But they're saying money path. And that's exactly why I was getting that um scenario of someone walking in shoes. If you have quality shoes. You put money towards, I mean, your feet is, uh, your feet are one of the most important, I mean, every part of your body is vital. It has a sniff, but your feet, if your feet are, you don't take care of your feet, you affect your entire body. And please, don't like, come on there and talk about you don't got no feet. Please don't do it. This is just... If you walk around in the wrong pair of shoes, you're not going to be able to walk for long because them feet are going to start burning. You gonna, you can't do it. You may try to ignore it for a little time and it's only going to get worse. But if you put on the right pair of shoes, you can walk for miles. You can walk for days, months, if you decided to because you want it to be like Forrest Gump. I don't know. But the path that you're on and then your birthday month popping up too, April. Some of y'all are April Aries. Some or some of y'all like April Aries. You're April Aries. This is like very significant for you. But a path with money is waiting for you to find it. Okay, Aries. Let's go towards the next spread. I learned, uh, I, I'm like on the verge of just playing that song. That is like one of the best songs. Oh my gosh. Freaking love that song. Okay, something is like really relevant because it's summer popping up. So something, there's some sort of destruction in order for happiness. Some of y'all, it's not even a destruction. You are just being like things, you are over-exaggerating things. That's what I'm getting because like y'all are fogging out the happiness here by being in some sort of pessimistic mood. And with them bringing up summertime, they're letting me know, no, we're talking about present. Oh, 
honey, y'all have, y'all always, whoever this is for, you need to figure out a better way to express yourself, first of all. You need to either talk to someone that you can trust or it is you need to express yourself because I'm getting someone who tends to hold their emotions in. It's like, I don't care if you're, you're a very vocal person, you're, there's still something that you're not expressing that you're needing to. And they're saying that this is the root of your regrets. This is the real issue here. Needing to express yourself, but in the proper way. Because you guys have like blessings coming towards you. Because it's your time to receive. In this card, it's like all of this destruction, but here's the sun right here. That's what they want you to be optimistic so that you guys can receive some sort of blessing that's coming towards you here. Yes, some, some of y'all need to listen to that song because it's really making sense with your reading. Now I'm gonna tell you what, don't listen to the song and then some of y'all do need to listen to it and just like kind of vent it out, you know dance it out because y'all are needing to release some sort of some toxic energy that's staying like stagnant this you know it's like because i'm getting your root chakra here specifically and that affects your stability like you feeling stable some of y'all are needing to work it out and I mean, I'm getting like really physically and I'm getting some of y'all like dancing and just like all by yourself, pull a Billy Idol here, it gets you one of them lights from Target that, you know, you put up in your kid's room or your niece's nephew, you know, a child room, you know, turn off the lights, blast your music and jump around, scream if you have to, but it's some energy that you guys need to release in order to receive something. Either way, you're receiving it, but you want to make sure when it comes through, it comes through exactly the way you want it. And it's not being um, tainted by some negative energy that is just, it's harboring in your root chakra. Some of y'all are needing to look up root chakra and to figure out like the best way for you to exercise it, to exercise like that toxic energy out of it. Some of y'all even, some of y'all, that is, if y'all been struggling with weight issues, some of y'all, that is the uh, cause. Like if you look up like diets to help um, stimulate and to help heal your root chakra, it's gonna benefit you. I have to see now because let me let me do this I may look it up and like try to just because I'm not sure as far as diet wise let me see get that uh, so best foods for grounding and protection of your of your root chakra red color foods so strawberries cherries tomatoes red peppers pomegranate and watermelon uh, root vegetables that you guys can eat are beets carrots celery ginger root garlic onion potatoes leek I'm not sure what that is radish turnips parnage shallots and yam uh, foods that are rooted in physical form. So beef, chicken, pork, and fish. Now, if you don't eat meat, then you, you have other options here too. But y'all can go online and find out foods like to 
incorporate in order to help heal, um, to help like heal your root chakra. Cause that's coming through for a reason. And like, I was about to just say, you know, look it up, leave it alone, but I have to do what I'm being guided to do. So I know it's for a reason. Because some of y'all might not even, it's like, you'll just take what I just told you and take it from there. But some of y'all will actually take the time to um, look into diets. Look at this. Ace of Pentacles. Popped out in the upright. Look at this energy, Aries. You know you have it. You know you have it within you. The universe has offered this to you. Like major blessings here. I'm getting whoever I'm talking to. You know your potential. You know your worth. But there is clearly some stagnant energy here that you need to move out of. I'm getting like movement. You are needing to switch things up because some of y'all have been doing the same old routine even though it's not working you keep doing it some of y'all are you keep doing something that's not working for you and it's affecting you emotionally and it's not leading you down the right path with the star it's like the star comes after destruction something that needed to be uh something that needed to be destroyed mm -hmm in order for you to be on the right path your purpose in life but with it in reverse that means there is still some healing that needs to take place someone is still feeling like drained from a particular situation but it's this stuck energy and it's not working for you so i'm getting whoever this is for you know exactly what it is and you're needing to switch things up. I'm really getting, looking into like your root chakra because that's what they keep bringing up. That's going to benefit you and help you get out of this energy. So I'm going to leave it there. These are the messages that came through for you guys at this time. Be sure to hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, and leave a comment. This reading resonates. With that being said, you all take care.